Hi everybody, Dan Ullman, Mike Beer kicking off the late pick four at Belmont Park on Thursday with race number six, the $150,000 Astoria Stakes for two-year-old fillies. Our stakes preview is brought to you by DRF Bet. Sign up for a new account. Enjoy all the stakes action on the Belmont Stakes Racing Festival this week leading up to Justify's historic run for the Triple Crown in the Belmont on Saturday afternoon. You get free cash when you sign up for a DRF.com account, DRF Bet's account at DRF.com forward slash bet. Let's take a look at the field for the Astoria Stakes. Two-year-old Phillies going five and a half. $150,000 is the purse. And I don't know about you, Mike. I was really impressed with what I saw from the three. Eye in the Sky, a $22,000 yearling, mm -hmm. uh, daughter of Sky Mesa. She was a good thing at nine to 10 for Mark Cassie, first out at Churchill Down. She didn't break great, but she just cruised up on the outside. And that's what's known as a ridden out comfortable win. Yeah, I agree with that. She did some good things in that first uh, career start. Um, she guess the thing was, you're right, she didn't break that great. She was in a little bit of like traffic early. She had to wait for horses to clear her. And once they did, she just made this big sharp run around the turn, got right on top of the leaders. And as you say, she was ridden out at the end. Really nice debut. Now she steps right into a stakes. And she'll be a playable price, according to David Aragona's yeah. morning line. I think he's right. I seven think he's to right two too. on the line with eye in the sky. The horse they're all going to have to beat from a fig standpoint is the number seven to Jory. Let's first look at the time form US pace projector. To Jory, a gate to wire winner of her career debut in Southern California, is expected to make the lead, although I wouldn't be surprised if Wonderstone and Wesley Ward from the inside grab it for him. Yeah, that's the thing about her. To Jory got right to the front in her career debut in Southern California. She is certainly a fast horse. But, you know, this is just one of those races, especially when you have two Wesley Ward horses in here. You just know there's going to be speed. Wonderstone's under the gun from the rail. I feel like she's got to go. Even Athens Queen is drawn to the outside of Tajuri. Our horse showed a lot of speed in her debut, too. So, yeah, maybe Tajori has to do it a different way this time. As for Tajori, a $525,000 daughter of Will Take Charge. She worked very fast at the sales. And as you mentioned, she was very fast out of the gate at Santa Anita. Yeah. Interestingly enough, because when you look at her pedigree, it's all about two turns. Yeah, it's true. It's, it'll be interesting to see what she does. That Will Take Charge, she's been off to a pretty good start as a young stallion. He's got some fast horses. So we'll see what she can do. But, I mean... She had good speed in that race. Obviously, you know, you don't get figures for all these races from buyer, but an 82 buyer, first time out going four and a half. And when you watch the, the replay of the race, I mean, she was just so strong on the lead throughout that race, always in control, got away from that field at the end. I, this was a really nice debut, Dan. You know, I, I thought long and hard about taking a shot against her because I know she's going to be a short price, but at the end of the day, I just don't know if I really want to try and beat her. Wesley Ward, of course, known as a two-year-old guru, had his usual phenomenal season with the babies at Keeneland, and he has just continued his tear yeah. at Belmont Park. 39%, a lot of two-year-old winners. Let's talk about the one Wonderstone, the eight Athens Queen. Here's the formulator fact for Ward. Over the past five years with two-year-old debut winners coming back in their second start in non-graded stake dirt sprints, 40% winners, a 428 ROI. Wonderstone down towards the rail, who has the speed, beat a couple of next out winners in the runner-up, came back to finish third in the Kentucky Juvenile. Yeah, I will see what happens with these two horses. I. I wanted to maybe be against a little bit more against Athens Queen than the other one, but we'll see what happens. Athens Queen obviously had the big speed first time out. Um, I thought that she did well because the horse that ran second to her took a big run at her in the stretch and she was able to hold her off. So I like that performance. I don't know, Ward's been working this horse on turf since that race. Uh, we'll see if that means anything or not. Obviously, Wonderstone being drawn to the rail, I guess that's a disadvantage for her, but her debut was equally good. Her debut was good. I kind of prefer Wonderstone a little bit as well. I thought Athens Queen did show the typical Wesley Ward speed in there, but she had an easy first quarter she before did. that other horse came for a run yeah. with her, and I wonder how they're going to play this from the far outside post with the other Ward speed down towards the I rail, agree. and you know to Jory has speed as well. I'm not as comfortable with Athens Queen kind of rating and finishing. Yeah, I'm not either. I, I know that you know with Wonderstone, she's obviously going to have to break down inside, but if she does and shows her usual speed, I think that will work for her. Lady Apple, the number four, uh, has a really precocious family. Yes, she's by Curlin, yeah. who's known as a stamina influence, but this dam was grade two placed in the Schuylerville at Saratoga yep. as a two-year-old. And Lady Apple is a half to uh, a couple of horses that have done well at two. Right. Her debut was fine. Leslie yeah. Ward beater, no disgrace there, and uh, a piece of her was purchased after the race. Yeah, I, I liked her debut, actually. Um, you know, obviously, when you're talking about those two-year-old races at Keeneland, Wesley Ward always has at least one in there. It seems like they're all ready to go. 
Um, in a lot of ways, I like the race that Dragic, the horse that won that race, I like the horse that's that that horse ran horse. better than the other two that are in this race. So maybe Lady Apple faced a better Wesley Ward last time, and she ran well in that race. Came three wide, kept trying all through the stretch. As you say, privately purchased after that, turned over to ask me since she gets Lasix now. I know she's a maiden, Dan. I thought long and hard about putting her on top and trying to beat Tajori with her, but I'm definitely using this horse. The five six pack gal by Boisterous. Wow. Shug McGahee, what maybe, Turf Myler Boisterous maybe a was. longer than that. Uh, Calbred six pack gal went gate to wire in her career debut, but she was facing Calbreds and she didn't have to go as fast as Tajori did. Yeah, it just feels like they're going to, you know, take on some tougher competition in this race, but she ran well in that race, never letting that field in and just was clear all through the stretch. Galinor by Redeemed won her career debut at 15 to 1, coming from off the pace in a race where I kind of thought the pace came apart a Me little too. bit and the runner up came back to finish second at Pimlico, but with only a 36 buyer. Yeah, it didn't seem like that strong a race. You know, give her a little extra credit for, you know, staying on through the stretch and closing that field down, but the horses she ran down that ran second, they were tired at the end. Gorgeous with the G, the number six, uh, New York bred, debuted at Prairie Meadows, scored <laughs> with a 36 buyer. They're going to be going a lot faster early than yeah, in that Prairie yeah, Meadows race. Listen, we'll see how she classes up with these horses. Um, I, her debut was pretty good. I mean, she was never, you know, really, it didn't feel like she got all in in that race, but she was always holding on. So maybe there's more for her to find in this race, but she better find more. Let's take a look at our top selections for the Astoria Stakes. Kicking off the pick four, how hard do you lean on the seven to Jory? I'm going to wind up leaning on her pretty hard, I think. I, again, I thought pretty long and hard about just putting Lady Apple on top and taking a shot, but as far as multi races go, I'm going to use a lot of Tajori and a little Lady Apple. Seven, four, three, one for Mike. I'll be using a lot of Tajori. I'll also be using the three eye in the sky. Yeah, it's past the visual test for me. Now it's to run a little bit faster in the pick, but I'm going seven, three, five, and six in the $150,000 Astoria Stakes kicking off the late pick four on Thursday at Belmont. You can play that wager with your new DRF Bets account. DRF.com forward slash bet is where you need to go to learn how to get free cash at a DRF. That's a pretty good deal. Astoria Stakes, $150,000 is the purse. It's race number six. It's 440 Eastern on Thursday. Good luck.